In this chapter, we'll spend some time improving our simple CMS. Up until this point, we've been doing a little work here and a little work there as we learn about Rails' different features. But now it's time to start putting on a bit more polish so that this can become a full and respectable working application. And we're going to begin by doing another challenge assignment. In this challenge, you will use what you've learned in all the preceding chapters to create an area for managing our admin users. That is, the CRUD for maintaining the list of authorized site administrators. We never created the admin CRUD, and now that we've set up our user authentication, we're ready to do it. You should have acquired all the skills that you need for this challenge. It's an opportunity for you to apply and review everything that we've covered so far. This is what real web development is like. Let's go over the requirements and goals of this challenge. First, I want you to go into the model for admin user, and I want you to do two things there. I want you to define a new method called name, which will simply return the first name and the last name of the admin user with a space in between. Then you'll define a named scope called sorted that's going to sort the admin users by last name and then by first name. Then we'll focus on the controller. We're going to need to generate a new admin users controller. Once you do that, you'll want to remove the auto-generated routes that Rails will create for you because we're using that default route. And then you'll want to use the admin layout for your controller. We created that layout previously. You'll restrict access to all the actions in this controller to only be accessible by logged in users. And for the actions in this controller, you're going to have index, new, create, edit, update, delete, and destroy. Notice that there's no show action in there, so you won't need a show action or a show template. The idea is that the admin user is so simple. It's just first name, last name, username, email address, and password. We don't need a whole page to show that information. We can just do that from the index page. So we'll be doing without a show action. On the index page, you're going to display the admin users, and you're going to sort them by last name, then by first name, using that named scope that we set up earlier. You want to try to write all the other actions yourself from scratch. You can go back and take a peek at some of the other code if you need to, to remind yourself how to do something, but try not to copy and paste. Try to write it fresh. You'll learn a lot more if you actually type it out for yourself and get used to the mechanics of each of these actions. And you want to make sure that you use strong parameters to permit the values that you want to use for mass assignment. Then, once your controller is done, we'll be ready to shift over to the views. For the views, you can copy and paste a lot of the HTML that we've used earlier. You will want to make sure that you set the HTML page title in each template using at page title, and try to utilize some of the view helpers that we learned. Link to, mail to, pluralize, and cycle are all ones that I think you can make good use of. And utilize the form helpers that we learned. Form for, label, text field, password field, and submit tag all have a role that they can play here. And make sure that you display the form errors using those form error helpers as well so that if a user encounters a problem while updating an admin record, they'll be able to see what went wrong. Once you've got the admin user CRUD working and well tested, then you'll want to make sure you add a link to that CRUD from the main menu. That's at accessindex.html.erb, so that you can get from the main menu to your admin user's CRUD. And then you'll want to add a link the other direction as well, so that from the admin user's index page, you'll be able to go back to that main menu page. This challenge should take about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. Refer back to the movies and previous chapters if you get stuck. When you're done, be sure to watch the solution video where I'll show you the solution that I came up with. Good luck. I know you can do it.